Election night is less than a week away, and the city of Lynchburg has seven candidates fighting for three at-large city council seats. Town News reporter Connor Dietrich introduces us to the candidates and the major issues they're focusing on in this election. Three at-large Lynchburg city council seats are up for grabs come election night. Seven candidates will be fighting to be among the top three vote-getters. A focus surrounding many of the candidates is making this election about local issues, not national. What we're doing right here in Lynchburg, it's local. It's our families, it's our people, and it's our community. And what can we do to say, let's put our differences aside and come together for the common good of our city? Because if we're divided, nothing gets accomplished. Bo Wright is one of two incumbents running again. He says the city has to address issues as a community. So we're going to be able to devise solutions for Lynchburg. It's got to be collaborative. It's got to be across the aisle. Um, and so I think that's what I'm running on, is a Lynchburg that's going to work for everybody in all different neighborhoods and not just the well-connected few. The candidates have similar priorities, focusing on education, public safety, and economic development. Those primary issues are, um, you know, we want to see a more in improved educational system. Um, everybody's concerned about crime in the city and want to see, um, you know, violent crimes reduced. And people want to see a more, uh, a more competitive workforce. Some candidates aren't just wanting to focus on the negative. They want to reinforce and expand what's going right. We have so many, so many, so many good things, and we need to keep it on the right track because that is what m making a city attractive to not only investors, but people is the way a city succeeds. Every candidate is fighting for the same thing, a mark next to their name come November 8th. People should vote for Marty Mischens on November 8th because I'm going to get down into City Hall and be a representative that fights for the interests of individuals, families, and businesses. 10 News made efforts to talk with candidates Trené Tweedy and Larry Taylor. We have not heard back from them. Visit WSLS.com to learn more about the candidates running for Lynchburg City Council. In Lynchburg, Connor Dietrich, 10 News, working for you.